I'm questioning the staff people, but we'll see. But I would like for our board chair to come up first and acknowledge uh, the board members and any other special guests. I'm going to talk a little bit later. I'm so glad to have Mr. Ernest Pugh, Stella Award winner in the house tonight. Thank you, Mr. Pugh. Come on. Come on, you can do better than that. that helped to get this Emmy Award last year, so I'm excited about that. All right, DISD in the house. We're going to get our money. I don't know even though you're not there. I wish I'd get our money. But you can take care, right? Okay, good, gotcha. Okay, but uh, we'll talk to Brother Ernest and uh, some of the other uh, uh, artists that were part of the program. They'll be coming in in a few minutes. But come on, Ms. Steele, this is our fabulous board chair. I call her our hat lady. stuff that's going on in this world, it pays to have a good time. Yeah. At, at least we're not sliding on uh, in California mud. You know, the fires are not there. And with Boston as well, the uh, storm and all that stuff, I am glad to be alive. Yeah. All right, Praise I'm going to preach. that helped us to major, uh, do a major fundraiser. Of course, Dr. Dr. Mamie McKnight just passed away, and it was called Kaleidoscope, I believe. 
And that organization also meets here every, every first Saturday, I believe. And that first year, they helped us to raise about seventy-five dollars to $80,000. This was 20 years ago, okay? So we have members from AKs that are here. We have members from Delta Sigma Theta. So we're working with the um, Dallas alumni chapter. But I would like for those two institutions, organizations to come, just have a word with them, ask Paul and Belinda Griffin, since, and I'll tell you a little bit about <coughs> them, to come and then we're going to show some, do some other things. So, um, representative from Africa, Africa Sorority, Ms. Farmer, Bernard Farmer, and then we have somebody from uh, Delta Sigma Theta, Sorority, Dallas alumni chapter. And I'm the only person that can, that can pull sororities together because they did a piece called <laughs> Sisters in Opera. And there were at least, Harold Blackwell was a Delta and Barbara Conman, who passed away, was AKA. And they did an operating piece downstairs on this main stage. And the place was packed with people. All that stuff is in our archive. So I want to say, get prepared, because uh, I got another deal for you all. <laughs> on receiving the Long Star Emmy Award. The chapter has more than a 20-year relationship with T-Ball. A highlight of this two-decade-long relationship is the collaboration of Alpha Zao Omega Chapter, T-Ball, and Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated's presentation of Sisters in Opera. We congratulate Mr. Curtis King and T-Ball with over 40 years of cultivating the arts and providing a venue to encourage an outlet for creative expression and achievement in adults and youth in Dallas and the United States. Best wishes, Mr. King, for your continued success in the future. Thank you. The board, the staff, the actors from across the world that have come here to perform, uh, that truly means a lot for his leadership. And Curtis, we thank you for having the vision and demonstrating the leadership to make sure that Dallas has a vibrant arts, specifically impacting the African American community. So, if you are 39 or below, stand up. Years of age, 39 and below, stand up. Right. So, that, that means that before you were born, Curtis King was here doing the work. not stand, we are all a little bit older, so <laughs> we want to make sure that uh, we're not going to let that hold us back for continuing the support of T-Ball to make it happen. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you, board. Thank you, staff. Thank you, everyone, for support <coughs> of what Curtis and the team does here at T-Ball. My wife, Belinda, didn't want to say a word, but she can say hi or something. <laughs> I have no prepared remarks <laughs> other than this guy is absolutely awesome. We already know that. That's why we're all here. Thank all of you for supporting T-Ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
They dragged you from homeland. They chained you in couples. They huddled you spoon fashion in filthy hatches. They sold you to give a few gentlemen ease. They broke you in like oxen. They scourged you. They branded you. They made your women breeders. They swelled your numbers with bastards. They taught you the religion they disgraced you say. Keep a inch of the law like a poet worm you sang by and by. I'm going to lay down this heavy load you say. Walk together, children. Don't you get weary. The strong men coming on. The strong men getting strong. Strong men coming on. Strong men getting stronger. Board members, can y'all come and stand to the side too? Board members, stand to the side. Okay, uh, this has been a long time. This is just a step a little bit. This is a long time coming, so y'all get y'all cameras out. And uh, we want you to hashtag and do everything you can do. And then when we leave here, I want you to go downstairs, and I want you to get on the, uh, the little red carpet and stand in front of the Step and Repeat banner and take a picture, and then send it to people and tell people to get their tickets for the concert tomorrow. Uh, the young lady that's here, I want, I want to see them, I'm, I'll introduce them. Cold Cat, is it Cold Cat? Is it, oh, cockatoo. Cockatoo, where are you, Cockatoo? Woo! Stand up, Cockatoo. These, these are young ladies, there are two young ladies, I'm going to tell you more about them tomorrow. There are two young ladies with an, a brilliant dream, and they have made contact with a big studio in Hollywood that's going to be a big fundraiser, and they're going to use the institution, so I'm going to be working directed with them. Y'all look great. Uh, if you haven't gotten your tickets out, make sure you get your tickets for tomorrow night's performance. So keep the dream alive. Yeah. All right. All right, so let's, 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 let's pull it. So on the count of three, we're going to let our guest artists, they will take the, um, what is it, take the garment off or whatever. Before you do that, <laughs> Philip Collins, stand up. I got to do start. Philip Collins, stand up. Philip Collins, Philip Collins, come on out she can come back there. And Ms. Laura, I need you down here. Come on down, Ms. Laura. The theater, let me just say this right quick. And I promise I'm done. I have to get the history while I remember it. Laura Bruton, mother, 34 years ago, was selling tickets yeah. on her deathbed, yes. dying from cancer, That's right. for the Black Music and Civil Rights Movement concert. That's right. And the theater is named after her. says, King, don't you ever give up. She was calling people selling tickets, three and five dollar tickets. That's why the theater's in, and Laura, I'm glad that you're here tonight. Because me T is in the house. Okay, now, on the count of three, you all do your thing. One, two, three. Woo!
or this experience, because you are part of it too. It's an honor to have an Emmy Award. You know, dreams do come true, you just never know how they're going to come true. So I didn't even associate this project with anything dealing with an Emmy. I was just doing it because I believe in what he's been doing, what he's been doing for so many years. And it just goes to show that if you'll be faithful over a few things, he will make you rule over many things. So congratulations, I'm completely honored, you know, I just want to say uh, thanks to my parents in heaven for raising me to, to represent my people the best way I know how. God bless you. I just uh, want to say that I too, piggybacking off of what B. Slade said, had no idea where this was going to go, but anybody who knows Curtis King knows when he calls you and say, come, you just come. You don't ask any questions. So to God be the glory for you keeping the dream alive, Dr. King. God bless you, sir. in the archive of the Black Academy, and then I have one that's going to my house. <laughs> Thank all of you all for coming. You've been absolutely amazing. The rooms are open. The food is there. Go downstairs. The bar is open. Y'all people, you cannot drink. I had a great time learning how to repair my credit to buy a house. It was uh, Joyce Brown's credentials. They're impeccable. She is awesome with respect to her knowledge about the credit repair business and what to do for home loans and how to get one's credit together and for reverse mortgages, things of that nature I'm familiar with. Uh, she was our counselor when we were considering uh, getting a reverse mortgage she gave awesome advice. So I highly recommend every church needs this, every um, community group needs this. Every school needs to take advantage of her seminars and so we can help our people in our communities do better with respect to credit. Stay away from payday loans and things of that nature. All right. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm attending, I'm helping out at the seminar today, but in listening, I've learned the importance of budgeting. I've always talked about budget, but I've never made a budget. Now I understand why I need to make a budget, and I'm going to do that. Uh, all right. The seminar was great, uh, a lot of great useful information, stuff you need to know, stuff you didn't know, and again, it focuses on how to get your credit uh, great, so I, do, I definitely recommend this uh, to anybody. Thank you. Uh, my name is Bernard Grissett, it's just simply an outstanding seminar, I enjoyed it, and I would refer anybody to come to it and see me. Buy the book, because it's great. It's worth it. Thank you. Came out here to support Miss Brown. I uh, found that she was doing an incredible thing for the community, so I wanted to come and check it out. My name is Neiman. I'm a real estate agent myself and uh, investing in the South Side. And I uh, just wanted to make sure that everybody's knowing what's going on and uh, on the on the high road, uh, ready for success and better things for 2018. So I'm glad to be here. That you needed to read this book, yeah. and maybe more than once, mm -hmm. uh, because the creditor that she kept trying to tell you in the seminar mm -hmm. was not the school. It's the U.S. Department of Education. Correct. So if you forget, you can always use this as a reference to go back to find out where do I need to inquire. Okay. So, so you'll get that from the book. Okay, and they will also tell me that I need to uh, send them the information about the school closing down, uh, coming up under federal law. Once you make that call, mm -hmm. then you'll know what to do. Okay. Yes. But the book, you will refer to over and over and over again. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so. But yeah. when you contact them, they will be able to show you, uh, look at all of those that you see. Okay. Okay, but you need to contact them. Like I said, you've got to go ahead and get a, a credit card. Mm -hmm. I can get three of those. Pain in history. Can I get three of those? You probably will need three. Yeah, like mm -hmm. from three different. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And have and max out one, pay the other one, then max out another one. No, you don't max out. I mean, I mean, I'm, okay. That's what. That's my question. Uh -huh. If I get a card, right? Never max it out. Okay. If I get a card, I'm supposed to leave ten dollars on there or ninety dollars on there. 
Yeah. Just the lowest amount you can. You don't want to pay it. You don't want to pay it completely off because you don't want the credit uh, score to look at it as a, an account that does not have any um, a balance, and so it's not going to count towards your payment history. Okay. But you want to make sure that you. I mean, you don't have anything that can improve your score. Okay, so. But I bet you if you get some secured credit cards, I bet you your score will go up. It'll go up. Mm -hmm. And if I get three different ones, it'll go up three different times, 35%. No. Uh, it don't go up it, once. It, it's going to be a period, long period of time. So you, you just can't get the, get the credit card and think your score is going to go up. You're going to need to pay on it for six months before it even shows up on the credit card. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. And, and it's not going to be like it's going to jump up. It's going to take time. Okay. And I was told by someone if I wait and let the report go in, let the report go in that it's not been paid, and then pay it within the next six months. Yeah. The credit, your yeah. credit card? Yeah, it'll show that it's been paid. No, you want to pay every month. You know, you charge, pay off, charge, pay off, charge, yeah. pay off. Well, okay, now I might, I might have just said it wrong. Okay. okay, let's say they put their reports in and it shows that it's unpaid. Then once, they, once the report goes so in. So you have a zero balance? No, that it's unpaid. That is what? what's due. Ta are we talking about student loans or we're talking about credit cards? We're talking about credit cards. That's a uh, secure credit card. Okay. If I pay, if I don't pay, I let them put in that, uh, what, what they put it in, the reports in. The, 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 I think if I see them. When they, when they start reporting your credit payment them, history. Yeah, let them show that it's unpaid, then pay it off, and then it shows that it was due, he paid it off after the due date. No, if you pay it on after the due date, then it's going to be delinquent. You pay it before the due date. You pay it before the due date. Due right. So yeah. how, did, how did reports go into you and build it? Because it they say it's let it close, then pay it, it, it builds your credit up that way faster because it's one that went in and said it was old, and one after the fact, uh, after, 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 after they put their facts in, or their uh, reports in, and it shows that it's old, they old, they pay it, so when it comes up again for their next payment, the next six months or whatever, three months, however, it shows your credit, paid. Your, your creditor is going to report yes. to the credit bureau every 30 days every 30 days they're going to make a report to the credit bureau about your payment history yes so you make sure you pay your credit card before the due date and that's showing good payment history that you said it better than I can say it because I can't I know what I'm trying to say but okay. you just said everything I have to say you, you okay. understand me okay <laughs> My name is Barbara Ford. I just uh, finished a seminar with Miss Brown uh, on credit repair. I feel that she gave us a, quite a bit of information. She empowered me with some knowledge that I didn't have before in regarding my credit report, my credit score, and how to prepare for getting negative credit off of my credit report. I'm trying to buy a house at this point, and she has given me information that will help me move forward and get this done. I really enjoyed the seminar today. She did a very good job. Thanks. Paying you know, off a collection count doesn't necessarily make your credit score go up. It can make it go down. So you don't just want to go do stuff. Now, what Joyce taught today, you can do that stuff because it fits into what makes sense on improving a credit score it may not make sense to you. Like, you know, paying off the collection accounts. Yeah. Ignore. You what know. she said today, though, sir. What she said today. Let me jump in. Yeah. What she said today was paying off debt will significantly increase your credit score. Revolving debt. But yeah, that's the key point. The key the, point. I understand because I'm looking right. at this student yes. loan. Right. And I'm entitled to as a uh, retired service-connected veteran. Right. That I'm entitled like any other veteran. That yeah. That student loan that would be waived, and I'm thinking, well, that's thirty thousand dollars for debt on my credit report. That should make a big significance on my credit report. I'm not looking at well, that's a installment debt, or exactly. of debt, and see, that's key. That's knowledge. But I appreciate Miss Brown this her knowledge, the fact that she's here today giving her time. And knowledge, and I want to go over and thank her for it right yeah. now. To get, to get, to get a signature on VA the loan, service connected yeah. disability, you don't have a funding fee. And you know your credit better than you. Yeah, I'm going to go VA. You familiar with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, so you get, they waive the funding fee. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm looking at all that closing costs. I never used my VA benefit. Right. I've been retired from the Navy for 20 years now. 
I never used my, my VA benefit. I'm going to be a first time home by. Let me give you a card then. I don't want to. Been doing VA loans for uh, 35 years. So I've helped a lot of veterans buy a home. Okay, so. I want to get over here to Miss Brown. Miss Brown is so old. Yes, yes, yes. Told you I want to check out my uh, retired Navy veteran. So one of the key points that, uh, well, first of all, I just want to thank you for taking out your time and sharing your knowledge and information. And I understand your key word, what do you say, empowers uh, money. Empower. Good credit empowers. Good, empower. Good credit empowers. And I believe in that. I heard you say that on the phone yesterday when I was asking about the website. Mm -hmm. Believe it, that's powerful information. I appreciate you taking out well, thank you, you thank serve and giving your knowledge, dedication to people like me because I appreciate it and I need it. Hi, my name is Joyce Brown and I'm a facilitator with Managing Money and Powers. I've written a book called Credit Repair for Mortgage Loan Approval, uh, which will help you improve your credit yourself. It's a do-it-yourself uh, book to help you improve your credit or, and as well as uh, improve your credit so that you can get approved on a mortgage loan. The book is available on Amazon.com for $19.95, plus uh, when you order it on Amazon for $19.95, you get a free e-book with that, and you can get an e-book from Amazon.com for $3.99. So I hope you purchase this book uh, to help you improve your credit. Do it yourself, because I believe that you should handle the easy stuff and let credit repair companies handle the hard stuff. Thank you. Perfect.